I'm the Reverend Kimberly, and it's my honor to serve you as the Minister of Religious Education. The story I have for you today is called When We Were Alone, and it's by David Robertson and Julie Flett. Today, I helped my kookum in her flower garden. She always wears colorful clothes. It's like she dresses in rainbows. When she bent down to prune some of the flowers, I couldn't see her because she blended in with them. She was like a chameleon. Nukum, why do you wear so many colors? I asked. Nukum said, well, no sisim. When I was your age, at home in my community, my friends and I wore many colors. But at school, the school I went to, far away from home, they gave us different clothes to wear. All the children were dressed the same and our clothes weren't colorful at all. We all mixed together like storm clouds. Why did you have to dress like that? I asked. They didn't like that we wore such beautiful colors, Nukum said. They wanted us to look like everyone else. But sometimes in the fall, when we were alone and the leaves had turned their warm autumn hues, we would roll around on the ground we would pile the leaves over the clothes they had given us, and we would be colorful again. And this made us happy. Now, Nukum said, I always wear the most beautiful colors. After I helped with the garden, we went over to the back gate, and there were vines covering the gate, and they reached all the way to the ground. When my Kukum turned to fix the latch, I saw that her braid hung almost as low as the vines. It was like she had a tail. Nukum, why do you wear your hair so long? I asked. Nukum said, well, no sisium. When I was your age at home in my community, my friends and I grew our hair long, just like our people have always done. It made us feel strong and proud. But at the school I went to, far from home, they cut off all our hair. Our strands of hair mixed together on the ground like blades of dead glass, grass. Why did you have to wear your hair like that? I asked. They didn't like that we were proud, Nukum said. They wanted us to be like everyone else. But sometimes in the spring when we were alone and the grass had grown so long and thick in the field, we would pick the blades from the ground we would braid them into short hair they had given us, and we would have long hair again, and this made us happy. Now, Nukum said, I always wear my hair very long. After my Nukum had fixed the latch, I followed her to the birdhouse. There was a bird flying through the air like a jingle-dressed dancer. She fed the bird, and then she whispered, Na pina sis mi kaso, tama si tin kin, her words sounded like a poem. They meant, here, little bird, eat so you will get big and strong. Nukum, why do you speak in Cree? Nukum said, well, no CCM. When I was your age at home in my community, my friends and I always spoke in our language. But at school I went to far away from home, they wouldn't let us speak our words. All the children used their strange words and we didn't understand them at all. Our voices blended together like a flock of crows. Why did you have to talk in their language? I asked. They didn't like it when we spoke in our language, said Nukum. They wanted us to talk like everyone else. But sometimes in the summer when we were alone and our teachers weren't anywhere around the place we were, we could whisper to each other in Cree. We would say all the words we weren't allowed to say so that we wouldn't forget them. And this made us happy. Now, Nukum said, I always speak my language. After our gardening work was done, I sat alone with my Nukum in the backyard. Her brother came over and sat with us. He comes over all the time. We drank tea and bannock. The tea was hot and sweet, and the bannock was moist and warm and melted in my mouth. My, my Kokum and my uncle talked and laughed like children. Nukum, why do you and Nokomis always spend time together? I asked. Nokum said, well, Nusisium, when we were your age at home in our community, 
Being family was the most important thing. We played with each other, did chores together, and shared everything. But at the school I went to, far away from home, they wouldn't let us be together. My brother and I were separated like day and night. Why were you and Nokomis separated, I asked. They didn't like us with family because when we were together, we thought, we thought too much of home. But in the winter, when we were alone and we were sure no one could see us, we would find each other. We would take off our mitts and in the crisp, cold air, we would hold hands so we could be with each other. And this made us happy. Now, Nukum said as she reached over and held my uncle's hand and mine, I am always with my family. The end.